I mean, I think the combination of vigilantly protected fundamental rights and robust institutions that enable people to exercise them as each of them see fit on the basis of their own ideals and interests represents some of the best that Europe aspires to. And I think a bright contrast to our very often dark history and sometimes troubling present. And I think it's really central that we recognize that these are rights that have to be continuously protected. And these are institutions that have to be continually supported. Um, and now for well over four years in the European Union, we've had continuous policy debate around the major challenges to European democracy that some of the features of our media space uh, represents, um, but frankly, very little tangible action. Um, and I think we have to say that it's a time now for the European Union uh, to put its money where its mouth is. Um, it's up to individual citizens and their elected officials to decide how they want to do this. Um, as a researcher, I just hope that they will see the uh, importance of independent evidence in informing their decisions and then recognize um, that if we uh, continue to agree that these are very real problems, then we need to take far more tangible and concrete actions to protect fundamental rights and invest in an enabling environment for independent media um, if we are uh, to actually uh, make a difference.